Whew. First day in pads, uh, you know, it was, it was obviously, it's always exciting to, to strap the pads on. I think our kids came out with a lot of emotion today. Uh, there were some good things offensively and defensively as you went through it. We had three live periods and a few thud periods. You guys saw one of the live periods where we only got six plays. Um, but, um, you know, it just it seemed to just get faster. Uh, our kids are fast. I think they're strong. I think they're in great shape, uh, which is a tribute to Coach Andrews and our strength staff. Um, we just got to keep them healthy. Sometimes if they're going so fast that um, if you stand back, there's a head coach with that whistle. You know, you, know, you want to go, you know, play play whiz and play thud and try to stay off the ground. Um, but uh, I'm impressed with the speed we have out here right now, and you know, I'm impressed with our kids' work ethics right now as far as how how they're you know approaching the game. So, questions? How's your rebuild offensive line coming along? It's coming. I mean, obviously, I think the defensive line's ahead of them, but they, they, they should be, and, and uh, we anticipated they would be here after three and maybe after 10, still that case. Uh, the old line takes a, a, a takes time to develop, but uh, you know they're doing some good things, really some good things, and you know, got a lot of faith in Coach Forbes will have those guys ready to go. What do you think that group needs to do in their development to sort of keep up the standard that those guys set last year? You know, it's just continue to pay attention to details. I mean, it's not about, you know, um, you know who they are, how big they are, how fast they are. It's knowing what you're doing, getting your body and your feet and your fundamentals and, and techniques where they need to be. Um, and, and to get rep, you know, the repetitions. And I think the reps are everything. They need as many reps as they can get coming through the spring and, and really going through the summer and into August into fall camp. Uh, but it comes down to repetition. But, you know, um, I think, you know, we're ahead of where we were a year ago, put it that way. What do you like about what Nolan Luizio will bring to this group? You know, Nolan's a you know big physical guy. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see him. You know, I forget. I know when he came, but I don't know if we had a basketball game. But Nolan's uh, a big athletic guy. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna jump in there at probably uh, the tackle spot, and I shouldn't say probably. He will jump in at the tackle spot and give us some maturity right off the bat. Um, so we're we're excited when he gets here. You had Gabe Hoy playing that left tackle spot. You know, pretty good amount of responsibility. What what kind of led you guys to, to, to single out him as the guy that, that could could handle that? Well, we you know we've known it since we recruited him um, you know, that he was you know that he was athletic enough coming off the basketball court to play left tackle. I mean you know he could be there. You know Van Lynn could be there. We got a lot of athletic guys, um, but Gabe's physically smart, and uh, you know we'll see where that ends up. I mean it's great to start there. You want to finish there after 15. You think those younger guys are pretty well aware? Like hey, you know Coach Dews went out and got a graduate transfer. Like it's time for me to step up, or I'll be running with the twos again. Yeah, I mean they're they're, they're well aware of that, and obviously these you know they're going to get 15 days ahead in Nolan here, um, you know in spring ball, and, and then we'll see what happens when the fall gets here. But you know they know that's called competition, and and that makes everybody better. Does that become a, a thing that almost every college coach has to do now is bring in graduate transfer at some point, almost every year, one, one or two guys. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of, you know, it's where the game's gone. Instead of bringing in a JC kid, it's even better because, you know, uh, you're probably going to find a better character guy. And, um, you know, we, we've got two very, very high character graduate transfers. We're excited about both of them. And um, it's kind of where we are. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great way of, you know, maybe uh, helping out in a you know, spot of need. What have you seen from your uh, receivers just in the new offense so far? How, how have they taken to what Coach Whipple's doing? You know, Coach Whipple and Coach Bay have done a nice job with them. I mean, just, you know, understanding coverages. I mean, I think there's a lot more just understanding of the coverage and the routes that you're, you're converting to. Um, you know, I just like where we are in that respect. Uh, you know, we'll find out in the end. I mean, you know, we can talk all we want here in uh, the middle of March. It's where we're going to be in the middle of September. It's going to matter. I was going to say, speaking of Coach Whipple, what would you see from his offense in your live periods today when, once you put those pads on and actually played against the defense? You know what? Um, you know we'll, we'll watch the tape and and, uh, and, and see. But there's, there's a lot of great things. I mean, just different stuff. And you know, the thing the thing that he's doing right now is he's not really not trying to beat our defense. He's trying to install stuff that you know we're going to need during the year. Not necessarily you know maybe I wouldn't run against that defense or that front. So which I think is smart. Um, you know, come Saturdays and you know scrimmage days he'll be trying to beat the defense. Um, but right now he's trying to you know really just get our set, our guys in different formation sets and personnel groupings and, and run concepts. Are you scrimmaging this Saturday? Um, it won't be a full scrimmage, but we'll have some live periods mm -hmm. like we did today. Um, Anything else? We were just predicted in Georgia with 34 reps in a bench press tomorrow. Do you have any prediction on that? On how many? 34. Who predicted that? We were. I got 36. Oh, yeah? We're going 36. <laughs> I'll up him. Uh, you know, he's going to get he'll get that easy. I say 36. I think his goal might be 36 or 37. So.